In this video, we will define what is meant by a logarithm. To motivate the idea of logarithms, let's look first at base 2. First of all, let's think about the function y equals 2 to the power of x. And let's consider values of this function for values of x between, say, minus 3 and 3. For the range of values of x we've chosen here, we have this curve. Now, let's think about this a little. If we take a value of y between 1 8 and 8, we can get a value of x from this graph. So, for example, if we take y equals 2, we have x equals 1. And if we take y equals 3, we have x is approximately 1.6. And if y equals 5, x is approximately 2.3. Now, this value is only approximate, but we could find it exactly. And this is what we would call the logarithm to base 2 of 5. We could also plot y equals 2 to the x over a larger range of x values, giving us a larger range of values of y. In fact, the only restriction on values of y for which this is possible is that y must be greater than 0. Let's look at this the other way round. For any positive number x, we can find a value of y for which x equals 2 to the y. So, for example, if x equals 1, then y equals 0, since 2 to the 0 equals 1. If x equals 2, we have y equals 1 x equals 4 gives y equals 2. These are easy ones since the powers are whole numbers, that is 1, 2 and 4 are powers of 2. But we can also do this for other positive numbers. Thus for example, for x equals 5 we have y equals 2.322. This number is actually not exact, we have to choose what order of accuracy to use. Here, I've used three decimal places. We can do the same for numbers less than 1. Again, starting with powers of 2, if we look at x equals a half, we can see that y equals minus 1. And x equals a quarter gives y equals minus 2. Given the work already done for x equals 5, it's easy to see that x equals a fifth gives a y value of minus 2.322 to three decimal places. You might want to check this using a calculator to satisfy yourself that this works. We can also generate further values of y using values we've already found combined with the rules of indices. So, for example, for x equals 10, we know that 10 is 5 times 2, and we know that 5 is 2 to the 2.322. So we have 2 to the 2.322 times 2 to the 1. Adding the indices gives 2 to the power of 3.322. Thus y equals 3.322 for x equals 10. As an exercise, see if you can find a value of y such that 2 to the power of y equals 3. Let's now take these values and put them in a table. If we plot these values, we get a curve that looks like this. This leads us to a definition. The logarithm to base 2 of x is the number y such that x equals 2 to the y. This can be thought of as the inverse of the exponential function y equals 2 to the x. The notation for this is y equals log to base 2 of x. Note that these two expressions mean exactly the same thing. It's useful to keep sight of the equivalence of these when we think about the rules of logarithms, as the rules of logs directly follow from the rules of indices since logarithms actually are indices. Up to this point we have dealt with a base of 2. The same reasoning can be applied to any positive real number. Thus we have a more general definition. For base a greater than 0, 
Given a number x greater than 0, the log to base a of x is the number y such that a to the y equals x. Thus, exactly as with base 2, we have the equivalence of the expressions y equals log to base a of x and x equals a to the y. As I indicated earlier, the rules of logs can be deduced from the rules of indices, and I will examine this in my accompanying video, The Rules of Logarithms.